Looks like they're staying positive. Caroline, thanks. Meanwhile, end of grade exam reports, they're out now. And some of what they show has parents very concerned. It's not their individual children's performance, but the performance of their school and the district as a whole in both math and reading. Yeah, Fox 8's Daniel Pierce has been trying to get answers on what the plans are to bring these numbers up. He joins us live in the studio. So, Daniel, first of all, what do the numbers show? Well, this right here is an end of grade report for a seventh grader here in Guilford County. If you look, the uh, school average is about 558, which is on grade level, but the district average 552 for reading, which is on par with the state average from last year. Then if we turn it over to math, the district as a whole, you see there 545, which is in the non proficiency level, the state average a little bit higher than that. And then with sixth grade reading, we now know that the district average in Guilford County is also non proficient. We had to build up our children's confidence that, you know, yes, you might struggle right now, but I know you can do it. Even though children are back in the classroom, they still are struggling with the difficulties and trauma of a year spent remote. Um, the challenges that we had were children coming back who had a lot of anxiety. No one can fault the fact that we had to really take care of their emotional needs. Val Young represents teachers in Forsyth County and says the end of grade scores could still show a large non proficiency level across a triad, but parents shouldn't be worried. It's going to take a few years to recover for some students. I don't think that we'll always be lagging behind. I do think that it's going to call for us to be a, a little creative and diligent. We're going to have to every single test, every single um, piece of work that we put in front of children are going to have to be intentional. Between 2014 and 2020, 48 to 63% of students performed non proficiency whenever it came to math in Guilford County and reading that ranged from 44 to 57%. Those were higher than the state average. The same goes for Forsyth County, which saw a spread of 46 to 69% non proficiency in math and 48 to 62% for reading. Tutoring will help. So we may need to take a tutoring class or we may need to get a little extra help from the teacher to ask, how do you do this? Because that most teachers think about is what am I going to do? Not just extra, but three and four times for my children to get them to where they need to be. The full EOG reports for the entire state, including here in the triad, those won't be out until August. In March, Guilford County school leaders announced $2 million in efforts to tutor students. There are 400 tutors to serve around 3,600 students. Michael Tess, 